anniversary. Anniversary. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Basil Babes, your girl Joy, and I'm back with another banger. I'm with Bobby. Look at her hair. Give, give, him, give him the hair, Bobby. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Thank you. Thank you. I'm kind of. I like the little pieces. I'm going to try the little pieces. So I bought, well, Bobby got it for me. I bought some hair to try the little pieces. Cause you know, I just do certain sections of my hair. So she wants to go, well, we both want to try in and out mm -hmm. Is it in and out with the onion? Yes. Mom. So we want to try this burger from in and out It's breadless, so we use onion as the bun. So we both want to try that. I left my tripod. Now I have one for the car. Do you want to go to Starbucks? I mean, you said you had stuff to do? I don't have any of my stuff with me. Where's your stuff? Back at the house? Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah, my stuff too, bro. <laughs> Look at my neck, y'all. <laughs> my stuff too, bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm going into Walgreens to get my prescription. And I'm going to see if there's someone in there. A genuine compliment. So that is our goal. If you're watching this video, going into 2024, we want to be positive. And we want to breathe positivity into others as well. Because it could be life-changing. You have a goal today too, Bobby? You want to do it? Hmm? Say that again? You want to jump on the bandwagon? Sure. But Bobby says, and she's like, you're going to record it. I was like, I didn't plan to record it. And she feels a certain way about that. But I didn't think that I was going to be recording. I, just, the I didn't know. I didn't know if you were. So why you don't, what, what's your issue with recording? I just think that it, even if you still are being genuine, you recording it. Like if somebody came up to me and there's like a camera in the back and somebody is like, oh my gosh, like, I love your hair. Or like, you have such a pretty smile. And the camera's just there like on me. I'm like, it doesn't mean anything to me anymore because it looks like staged. Even if you are genuine, it wouldn't carry the same weight as you just coming up to me and be like, oh my gosh, like, I love your hair. Or you have such pretty teeth. It doesn't, it doesn't carry the same weight. That's like, I see what she's saying, but at the same time, if this person is an influencer, that honestly, for some of them, not me, but for some influencers, that's their job. Their life is just to record every moment. And if that's their job, that's what they do. But does that make sense too? Yeah, I see it that way. But whether the person's an influencer or not, I don't think the compliment would carry the same weight. Like yesterday I was in the mall and I got at least seven compliments on my hair. But they she all can't. they all felt very <coughs> genuine. Because unless somebody's like, Oh my god, I love your hair. I love your hair so much. <coughs> it, I would just be like, Thanks. Like it, it it just I just feel as though and that's just how I feel. I feel as though compliments don't carry the same weight if you're it'll look like you're just doing it for the camera. That's just how I feel. And while I understand it's like, that's some people's job is to record. <coughs> I just don't think. Yeah. yeah, but I understand what Bobby's saying. But baby, if somebody want to record and you giving me like $10,000 because you know, they see me laid out on the side of the road. Okay, you want to record me? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, um, it, thank you. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> right, we'll call you back later. We'll call you back with the update. We'll call you back. Bye, y'all. All right, guys, so we made it to in and out. I don't like that. Sorry. Sorry. You know, sometimes it's good. How are 
for you. What's um, up for you? I guess it's a, a popular thing now for the workers to be outside to take your order before you get to the little kiosk thing. Sometimes I want to look at the menu, but he did have a menu, and the menu is very limited at In N Out. I am not a huge fan of In N Out Burger, but I will say I forgot what channel she, she has a popular channel, and she had the In N Out Burgers, but onion wrap. But she was eating like it was good. So here we are trying the burger, onion wrap, and. She had like four of them, four. And she was tearing those suckers up. I didn't see her eat all four, but she was going to town. We just got one each. And the way I eat, I could probably eat. If she could eat four of them. So instead of a bun, you get an onion wrap. And I love, love, love onions. And then we got some animal style fries. Well, maybe she didn't have a double. Maybe she just had a cheeseburger. Maybe. I don't know. That was the first, like, that was the first thing I saw on the menu. Right. So it's almost like, like you feel pressed when yeah, they're in your I face. Can I, I, like, I need a minute. I was like, um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. So I don't know. She had double doubles. I don't know. I don't know. If she had the animal style sauce on it. Well, we can get that on the side. And we're here to try it. We'll let you know. I tried. If you haven't seen that video, I'm. I don't do any talking. Now. I'm just going in on um, the new Popeye's wings. And I didn't talk, so I just ate them. They were a little soggy. The flavor profile on the Parmesan was, it wasn't very, it wasn't very strong, but the honey barbecue were good, but it was soggy because I guess they have so much breading on their wings versus wing stop or Buffalo Wild Wings that don't. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, good, how are you? Six, uh, 16, 18, sorry. <laughs> You guys had the two double doubles and an animal fry? Yes. Awesome. I got freaked out by the hand. Yeah, people always do. People always do. And you already ordered the next one. Thank you. I don't know. I just like just call me crazy. I'm I'm just crazy, okay? Two double doubles, uh, plain whole grill rub with that animal yeah. fry. Thank you so much. You have the sauce. Do you have? Oh, excuse, can I get some of the sauce? Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. And they are packed, packed up in there. Can you hold this? Yeah. Thank you. Thank All right. You. So we'll let you know how it tastes. Hold on. We'll call you back. Fries given Bobby. I think you have to get the fries, animal style or something. The fries just aren't that good to me. Yeah. I mean, they're they're okay. So it looks like. It's going to be really messy. Yeah. But I got gloves. I'm not I'm not feeling all of that. So I'm gonna put my little gloves on. Okay. So hold on, let me call you back. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the in and out. It's alright. It's alright, it's alright. But and I think hers had all the sorts and stuff on it already. Maybe that's the flying Dutchman part. Yeah, that's this fine. is just plain. So we also got some kombucha I got blueberry ginger Bobby got raspberry hibiscus so let's see what she's giving and it these you're not supposed to shake she shook hers I didn't 
but everything goes to the bottom. So let's see. And I love ginger. I don't. Dang! It doesn't taste like ginger at all. I love you don't ginger. You don't taste ginger. You don't taste ginger. Yes, you do. I don't. Taste mine. I like mine. Mine's good. Raspberry hibiscus. That's pretty good. I like it. That's a flower. <laughs> mm. It's not bad. I definitely taste ginger. Though. I don't. I don't. It's all right. Kombucha is so good, though. Mm. It's definitely a flavor you have to get used to, though. Mm -hmm. It's an acquired taste. But it's so good. It's so good. Give it a go. Got my gloves. And especially, you know, because we've been out. Although I did wash my hands before we left because we were in the grocery store getting our compliments. Genuine compliments. And I got my three. Bobby still has one. I'll get it in, I promise. You got hand sanitizer? Right there. Okay. Then I'm going to use, you could get the in and out spread as well. So I'm gonna put a little of that up in here, up in here. Here is what it looks like. Oops. Oh, see juicy. And you got the onion. So instead of the bread, it's like a, a low carb thing. But we love onions. Oh yeah, I love onions. Love onions. So I'm just gonna put this. You don't want it. You know where you look in this, right? So here we go. Going in. Bobby. Mm. Let me get another bite. Hold on. Mm. Okay, don't like onions. Doesn't have a strong onion profile. Yeah, because they're grilled. They're grilled onions too. Not raw. I like it. Um, I think it's. I think it's a little too salty. Mhm. Mm you say it's a lot of salt. Mhm. Mm it's a little too salty mm. for me. But I don't think that's at fault of the onion part. I think that's just them. Maybe the bread tones down the salt. Mm. Very messy. Yeah. So with this, I would probably also want regular onions. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the bun. <laughs> I was like, that would defeat the purpose. Well, you want regular onions too? I love onions. It just it doesn't have a strong onion taste. But if you are low carb and stuff like that, and you out. Yeah. As far as the calories, I don't know what the calorie. Mm. You can get it. This is called onion wrap. And you can get it. You can also do it tomato wrap. Oh, really? Tomatoes. Or you can do protein style, which is wrapped in lettuce. And then, um, what's it called? 
I think I would want more onions. Maybe she had a single. Did she have a single? No, they were doubles. I think you would probably like the single better. And for a single, it was three dollars and change. I very much felt rushed though when we were up there. Mm -hmm. They moving fast in there. Mm -hmm. I was like, have you seen the McDonald's movie? Mm -mm. Oh, it's a great movie. Um, McDonald's movie. Oh, how they make this stuff? No, no, no. no. It's about like the creation of McDonald's mm -mm. and like how McDonald's got founded. It's a really good movie, um, and it kind of shows like the the behind the scenes. But it's not a documentary; it's mm. a movie movie, um, and I feel like that's kind of how In and Out is. It's like channeling like old school McDonald's kind of thing, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, If anybody, the fries. Mm mm, not good. Mm mm. I think they pre make the fries because they're not hot. It doesn't taste fresh. It seems like they're like almost baked. Mm hmm. Would I say come on out, run out and get this? No. No. You don't think so? No. Is it worth trying it? Absolutely. I'm all about trying it. See how you like it. See, I would want double onions. So, I keep gloves in my car for when I get gas. Or if I'm cooking in the back. I'm waiting to eat this onion wrapped burger and you've just had the gloves in the car for this moment. No. <laughs> and you get like a hundred of these gloves for like two dollars. So you feel satisfied with that, Bobby? What do you think? I thought it was good. Would I get it again? No. But I'm not a fan of In and Out, if I'm being honest. I don't yeah. hot take. I think In and Out is overrated. But I'm, did, I'm glad we tried it because yeah. I would be thinking about it for forever because <laughs> it's always on my like TikTok for you page is this onion wrapped in and out burger and I've been dying to try it. I would give it a uh, 6 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Mm -mm. If the burger wasn't so salty. It wasn't that salty. I, my, it was extremely salty to me. Really? Yes. But I think that, I don't think that's at fault of the onion part. I think that's just everything else. But I thought it was good. Good to try. It's cute if you're, what is that, the keto diet? If you're a keto girl. Mm hmm I don't know what keto. Low entails. carb. And you want to be in ketosis. I don't know about that. Mm hmm It's all about your blood sugar. <laughs> they don't want their sugar to spike. Uh -huh. But... I feel like if you're in and yeah, at in and out, give it a try. Yeah, and it's not, it wasn't too bad. $16? Oh. That's because we got the doubles. Because they were like $6. $6.12. We should have skipped out on the fries. Those are not good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, no, but only because we paid for them. Mm -hmm. If I pay for something, I'm eating it. Right. So when I was eating those Popeye's wings, they were soggy. That's what I'm saying. The um, there was no crunch. The honey barbecue ones had a little more of a crunch, and I think it's just because of all the batter that they put on their wings, where you don't have that at Wingstop or Buffalo Wild Wings. They don't do all that batter, so therefore you're able to maintain that a little more crunch. Yeah, I think the idea is good though. Like Popeyes is a chicken place, but yeah, I think maybe they should think about putting the sauce on the side. Yeah, I make think it a dipper. Sat and it got soggy. Mm hmm. But I think if it was like a dip situation, or like shake it up when you get home, 
shaking in the car. Yeah. And the presentation of it, it wasn't very... It very much gave... They fried the wings, put them in the box that they were giving to you, and put the sauce in that same box and shook it in the box. That's 100% what they did. They shook up the wings with the sauce in your box. So the sauce was all over yeah, the box. That, that process needs to be changed. You don't do that. Mm -mm. They need little toss buckets. Mm -hmm. And then you put it inside your container. But that's exactly what they do. 100%. Yeah, so it just needs to be tweaked here and there, and I also think less breading or the sauce on the side. I think it's also on the side. Sauce on the side would be good, but the presentation of the um, garlic palm. Mm -mm. I bet the and, naked wings would be good though. What do you mean? Like no sauce. That's what they're known for when you get the chicken. I know, but it's not like you know it's the actual wing. Usually it's like a thigh or a breast or a. No, you can order wings. They're more expensive. I didn't know they had that. Yeah. Funny. So Bobby has one more compliment to go. I do. But I'll be out all day, so I'll get it. Why were you going? I'm going to dinner. I'm going to dinner with some of my friends. So how long have you known these friends? Um I've known one of them for ten years and probably the other one for nine. That's crazy. It's broken up. Uh, it's middle school or? Um, intermediate? Into I met one of them in sixth grade and one of them in seventh grade. Oh, okay. But them two were friends. They were friends before I came into the picture. Yes. So it was like I met one of them and then I met the other one and then we all knew each other. Mm hmm. Weirdly enough, but. Mm hmm. That's crazy. It's mm -hmm. a nice 10 friend anniversary. Anniversary. It's your friend anniversary. Friend anniversary. Friend anniversary. 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 Guys, I'm telling you, I thought something was on my face. I was like, Bobby. Something on my face or something? You know, something on my face? And she was like, no. I said, look. I was like, it was like people kept staring at me. I was like, something was wrong. Is the back of my hair sticking out? It just kept staring. And she was like, no. I said, you sure? Because <laughs> I know I ain't that far. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like how you doing? What? Her outfit is cute over there. With her? Because mm -hmm. she got on a vest? Yeah, I love vests. But you didn't want to wear my green one. Because it didn't match my outfit. Oh, well, that's that's when it's not matchy-matchy. That's when it works. I'm, I'm a go. very, like, matchy-matchy. Yeah, I'm not a matchy. Thing. So when I'm putting on something, let's just say I have on polka dots. Something. You're going to wear for, stripes? Yep. I want a, a stripe or I want something plaid. I don't want to look like a granimal matching set. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. I am a matcher. Mm -hmm. a Or like a monochrome kind of thing. That's what I do. Like I have on a black shirt and maroon pants. And I was like, I'm not matching up. So I put this, I draped this over my shoulders just to give me a little. It's called the, it's called the sandwich method. So it's like, you know, we got bread, meat meat and cheese you know mm -hmm. the middle and then bread so you want to match your top and your your top and your bottom mm -hmm. like so your shirt and your shoes want to match you know and you can mix it up so so even when i'm at school you know my situation i have a certain amount of clothes in my car so i, I try to go to storage once a week um and it's it was weird i was like uh, uh this match and it's like I can still find Mitch match, but it still looks good from little odd pieces in the car. I just love it. Uh -huh. Why are you looking at the man car like that? It's not his car. Huh? It's his car. No, sorry. He went inside the other car. Oh, get I thought he was to get the cigarette. He, he out here for a cigarette break. Roll the one over, Bobby.
This man came out, I think he on his break from, I don't know, I think that's, I don't know, what, what store is that, Bobby? It's Chase. He don't work at, he don't work it, at Chase. He came out and he has a badge on. Oh, he did? Yeah, he has a badge on. He came from there and I guess he's on his cigarette break, older white gentleman. And then he went into the car, he went to the car to get his cigarette, right? But then you go back into working your breath funky. It's funky, and that stuff be in your clothes. And then he started looking at the car next to him. It is a cute little car. What is that? A Mustang? Um, and I think then, it's a Camaro. Okay. No, that's not a Camaro. And then he started touching because the car has like like a sticker on the top of the hood. There's something on the top of the hood, and he touched it and stuff. It is a pretty nifty car. Mm -hmm, but your breath gonna be stank, sir. Then you going back to work dealing with customers? Uh uh. And yes, I told a secret about. I I told I told him a secret about me, like an an occasional cigar here and there. Oh. It's not like something I do every day. Like I got I may have like three, four cigars a year, right? But if I do, it's a weekend. And if I do, after I'm done, I'm hitting the hay. I got a shower. I'm hitting the hay, and I brush my teeth. I don't play. I don't play about that. It fries up whack. Sorry.